2020 Democratic hopeful Kirsten Gillibrand gave a passionate answer to a question about the term white privilege at a campaign stop in Ohio. Yeah, the question comes as the Democratic contenders are working to show that they understand the challenges facing minority communities and that they have plans to combat them. The Democratic Party loves to throw around terms like white privilege. Now this is an area that across all demographics has been depressed because of the loss of its industry and an opioid crisis. So what do you have to say to people in this area about so-called white privilege? Institutional racism is real. It doesn't take away your pain or your suffering. It's just a different issue. Your suffering is just as important as a black or brown person suffering. But to fix the problems that are happening in a black community, you need far more transformational efforts that are targeted for real racism that exists every day. So if your son is 15 years old and smokes pot, he smokes pot just as much as the black boy in his neighborhood and the Latino boy in his neighborhood, but that black and brown boy is four times more likely to be arrested. And when he's arrested, that um, criminal justice system might require him to pay bail. Five bucks. That kid does not have five bucks. He might not be able to make bail. If it's an adult with a child at home and he's a single parent, if he's thrown in jail, no one is with his child. Doesn't matter what he says, I have to go home, I have a child at home, he's only 12, what am I gonna do? It doesn't matter. Imagine as a parent how you would feel so helpless. That's institutional racism. Your son will likely not have to deal with that because he is white. So when someone says white privilege, that's all they're talking about, is that his whiteness will mean that a police officer might give him a second chance. It might mean that he doesn't get incarcerated because he has just smoked a joint with his girlfriend. It might mean that he won't have to post, post bail. It means he might be able to show up to work the next day and not lose his job and not be in the cycle of poverty that never ends. That's all it is. Yeah. But, it, but it doesn't mean that you don't deserve my voice lifting up your challenge. It also doesn't mean that black and brown people are left to fight these challenges on their own. A white woman like me, who's a senator and running for president of the United States, has to lift up their voice just as much as I would lift up yours. And that's all it means. It doesn't take away from you at all. It just means we have to recognize suffering in all its forms and solve it in each place intentionally and with knowledge about what we're up against. Now, her campaign um, has also launched a 30-second ad called I Promise that criticizes the president for what it describes as a series of broken promises. The senator's making stops in Pennsylvania and Michigan as part of this tour as well.